today we're going to talk about, uh, give some tips about how to counter attack. I speak, for my opinion, the best way, the correct way. What we, what we must understand is that I speak is one of the most common attack with the knife. The reason is for that because, uh, first of all, you know, your face most of the time is going to be open, also like in the winter sometimes we put more clothing or thick jackets and, you know, a straight step going to be a little bit more difficult, so the face is open, so the people prefer to come to the face. You have much more power from upwards, okay? And again, of course, artery, okay, the main vein, and other very important vein, like the blood and the air. And if you go to get stabbed in this area, I think it's got to be game over. So first of all, I want to talk, from my opinion, what not to do, what is not going to work, okay? So basically, if I speak come to me, okay? I don't want to stay only here and give the block and the punch, okay? Why the reason is, if I give the punch of the person, if you see Asher, the reaction is only when I give the punch is to go back. Number one. Number two, if the punch got to come full, then two things can happen. It can be 50-50. One, boom, it's be nice knockout, the guy is losing it, falling on the floor, you still have a good chance to survive. But if I come and punch and he get this fear, okay, he got to pull back, he got to hold his face. Because when a guy gets a punch, not in the movie, he's just moving his face. If we, hit, if we get a hit, face or going, it's automatically our reaction is to go back. Because why? Because we don't want to get, we don't want to get more. The guy not going to stay there to get more. Even if he has a knife, his mentality is not to, to continue. If he gets a punch, it's to pull back. And then I got to lose it. So it means if I try to do something like one and hold him, he got to pull. Oh punch and try to go deep to lock it got to go into the into this face. So please don't don't think this is the solution. This is absolutely not the solution. Secondly, why I want to stay here or here. I mean you don't know the power, okay? It can be some fanatic terrorist or fanatic Criminal, he got to come and he can actually go to bring it. If not to here, he can change it to your to your ribs or to your kidneys. Why you want to take this chance? Why you want to rely on one punch and then to think, okay, you can go in? So it means you think if I go to give a punch, I can go in. What is a good control? I agree. Okay, and again, I'm not scared about. I'm not talking about to get little cut. It's got to happen anyway. We never got to finish, okay? Like, like how we start, okay? This is a good control, but not. I disagree. It's from here. It's not going to work for me. What I'm saying is, again, you see a guy come with a knife, cover, okay? If he still decide to come to your face, okay, a bit slow. Move, take your elbow up, release the elbow, and secure the arms automatically because you don't want this go to move again and again and again but you see when I'm coming and I give the elbow if the can come I'm coming I'm coming the elbow downward downwards I'm not coming these things okay because I don't want this to go to pass my face so I'm not going to pull the face okay I'm going to come one downwards and secure it. So it means here, for him to pull the knife out, okay, I have a nice lock on his arms, okay, <coughs> for me I secure the arms. If I secure the arms, it means also the knife cannot basically reach me. So, from here, one, elbow secure, tell it to him, start to give the groin, okay, and then press, now, sit on his head, press the shoulder more forward. If you don't drop, more forward. No dropping, more forward. The knife not to fall. You have the knife. Okay, your decision. 
But the Lord, I'm not allowed to stab him anymore, so I can make soft with my knees. Okay, I can go arm a punch. Okay, I can go to the ears or just stand up, release a kick and go. Still slow. Cover. One. Elbow up, no down. Upwards. Elbow, try to go anywhere behind his neck. Anywhere. Here, here, something take his body, way down. One, two. Hold it tight. Turn into him. When you see where I put his knife, if the camera can see almost behind him, behind his head. Fight. More groin and then I press down. Then I put my knees here and I take the knife. If I need, I hit. Or I stand up, I hit. By the law, I can't. Little bit faster. <laughs> Again, same thing. Even if I see coming, when I speak, I'm covering my face. People here, you don't go to have much chance of surviving with the knife coming in. The knife is actually coming into your. But not what is in English? Are you speaking English here? Eye socket. Eye socket. Or even the cheek. I'm not talking about other stuff. So, here. I'm not closing my vision. Okay, I'm not doing that. Or I'm not going to find things here. I see it coming. I'm moving. Okay, fast, please. Maximum damage as you can. I'll show you okay. <laughs> okay, so again, the most important is when you start one, this is all your body. The elbow, <coughs> turn around. So when I come here, elbow hard as you can and secure fast as you can. Again. A lot of the boy, press down, press, hit, take the knife, control, go away. So this is about the ice pick. Thank you very much. <laughs>